our boat was rammed three times, twice in the front and one on the side. But let me also state for the record that what we experienced earlier today pales in comparison to what the people of Gaza are experiencing right now as we do this interview. Right, but let me our mission was a peaceful mission to deliver medical supplies. Well, and our mission was thwarted by the Israelis, the aggressiveness of the Israeli military. Now, one of the things that I would like to ask President-elect Obama is to, to say something, please, about the humanitarian crisis that is being experienced right now by the people of Gaza. I would like to ask my former colleagues in the United States Congress to stop sending weapons of mass destruction around the world as we are about to celebrate Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday. Let us remember what he said. Yeah. He said that the United States was the greatest purveyor of violence on the planet. And guess what? We experienced a little bit of that violence because the weapons that are being used by Israel are weapons that have been supplied well, well, Congresswoman by the United McKinney, States government. Congresswoman McKinney, if I could, could you describe what happened? Where there, where, was there any warning given by the Israeli patrol boats? We're hearing some reports out of Israel that they were trying to stop you from coming into Israeli waters and that the Dignity, the uh, captain of the Dignity, tried to maneuver around the boat and that's when the collision occurred. As you can see, I'm standing beside a pleasure boat. What the Israelis are saying is outright disinformation. But I recall that there was another boat that was attacked by Israelis, and it was the USS Liberty. And people would like to forget about the USS Liberty, but I haven't forgotten about it, and the people who were on that ship have not forgotten about what happened to them. And what happened to us last night was a direct threat to our mission, but not our cause.